What's up guys, this is Josh here and um, this this is my first series and it's um, Football Manager 2016. So I'm going to be playing the South End, which is my um, t hometown club and um, yeah, let's get started I guess. Um, let's, let's, we'll start off by um, meeting our staff and yeah, I'm basically I'm just, this, this episode is going to be going through the, um, the the squad and um, trying to get through as quick as we can. Um, so yeah, let's just look. Ivan Kaleva, I think I've heard of him. You know, I'll just scout. All, I'll scout all of these and I'll have a look and see which one's the best. Should be taken. Yes, yeah, so I don't. I uh, won't add mine in the book. Add no hunt. Um, let's have a look at these profiles for these players. Um, Tom Clifford, I think I know. Who, I know about. I know about him. I think. Uh, oh no, maybe. Oh no, I'm thinking of one Clifford. There used to be another Clifford that went, but he um got released in the summer. That's him. Um, he's okay, I guess. He's got decent potential. Lewis Guard, he's got great great potential actually. Um, he's, let's have a just have a scroll through who's the best with my. Judging potential, judging ability. Ricky Duncan probably is the, at the moment. Dave Robertson, Bill Garner, Mark Williams. He's, he says it's that, but um, yeah, I'm not going to go with that. Dave Hussey. So we'll go with Dave Robert. Uh, Ricky Duncan's one. So yeah, he's well suited to North which is not the best, but he could improve a lot in the future. Um, yeah, right. Okay, so... Aaron Amadi Holloway, I've heard about him, because he played against um, Ashton Villa in real life, and I saw him. We'll get a scout report on him, because he could be cheaper. Um, let's have a look at the funds first, I think that's probably the best thing to, um, to do, isn't it? you'd like to load so we have 20 oh oh yeah this is the problem with south end <laughs> they have nothing absolutely nothing see our first game will be against plymouth oh no that won't that'd be a friendly wouldn't it <laughs> plymouth aren't in plymouth in league two well done josh Oh dear. Right, so let's hold this team meeting against jo uh, with John White and the players. Come on, game. Wow, a lot of them are player. Please have signed a new contract. Okay. There we go. Right. Welcome to the uh, finish in mid table. I don't, I'm gonna put that because I don't want that to be too high. A lot have just gone down, but a lot have gone up. So, yeah, start a chance for it. Right, so let's have a look. At, I'll show you my squad and we'll see what the players. Well, of course, we have Daniel Bentley. <laughs> Our, probably our best goalkeeper South End has ever had. I mean, he's a current ability of four star. The leading goalkeeper. If it wants to, right? Hurry up at all. There we go. Right. So, um, frames are dropping like mad all of a sudden. So yeah, he's got decent reflexes, decent one on ones. His aerial reach is fantastic, and jumping reach is fantastic, so he's very good in the air. We have Ted Smith, a backup goalkeeper. He's decent enough, he has the potential. Just decent enough, decent enough for this stage. Uh, John White, the captain, of course. He, he's a very good player, I think. And um, he's actually got quite a decent head in for a, for a um, right back. And some good tackling, good tackling as well. T works fifteen. Leadership is great, which is why he's our um, captain this season. Uh, Luke O'Neill. I could have sworn he was on loan, but maybe we did sign him. 
Yeah, there goes my knowledge. Yeah, he, he he's quite a fantastic centre back at uh, back up work back for um for John White. He can also play left back as well. He's accomplished and he can play right wing back. But yeah, I'll be mainly playing him as a um uh right back. Adam Thompson, who's currently injured between five weeks and two months, he's apparently a right back because when he was a centre back. Oh, maybe he is a right back. I thought he was a centre back. Maybe he must have changed then over the summer because uh, Phil Brown used to use him all the time as a centre back. It's Luke Prosser. He's decent. To be honest, I probably would like to try and move him on because he doesn't have the best of stats. He's got good heading though. But yeah, to be honest, I think the time with him is probably dumb. Adam Barrett, the uh, big baldy. Um, he he would definitely say yeah because he's of course he's amazing and they fans it says the fans really like his player. He's got great heading, good tackling. His stamina is actually quite decent for like a, what is he thirty five years old? But his pace, oh dear. Yeah, we're not talking about that. Marking, I would like improve because there's only ten there. So, for that, I've, in real life, he just constantly just goes up there no matter what. Keen Bolger, brilliant centre back, the guy with the ginger beard, and um, the mum is three stars and he has potential to be a decent sky bit for central but championship central defender in the future, which is really good. And he's a decent player for most League One sides. Um, he's got quite good tackling, good heading, determination's good, teamwork's all right, stamina and strength is good, pace could be much better. Nat same with natural fitness, but his jumping reach is very good, and he can only play centre back, which is good. Right, um, next player is Glenry, who we've got on loan. He can play centre-back and as a central defensive mid, which is actually quite good. And, yeah, I, I think it'd be, he'd be quite good for this team, actually. But he is very well, but the common ability is very well suited to League, Skybet League 2 football. But he's currently the ability to the assistant manager, three-star, but to Vicky Duncan, who is our um, best one, because Graham Co Coughlin says that. But Ricky Duncan says that, so it's interesting. But still, we'll be a brilliant centre back, I reckon, for us. Glenry, son Ben Coker, probably one of my favourite players at South End. I always think that he's like he looks a bit like um that the puffer fish from um I can't remember his name, but the puffer fish from Finding Nemo. I always like associate him to being look like that. I don't know why, but he just does to me. He's just he's he's a very quality player. Good. For, Pace. He's cro he's got very good crossing if I'm for this thing. So Ricky Duncan says that, but Graham McCoughlin. We'll go with Graham McCoughlin for the moment, but he's unlikely to prove, improve in the future. Ryan Leonard, great centre midfield, great centre midfield. He's very versatile on that right hand side. But apparently, he's only got a current ability of two stars. I think it's probably a bit better than that. Really, yeah, Rick, Ricky Duncan says so. So, mm, interesting. Michael Timlin, the the awesome, awesome um, centre mid. He can also play left mid. No natural there, but he's a he's a wide midfielder, so not so good as a winger. But his best role is a ball winning midfielder. So I'll probably play him there. I'm probably thinking. I'll tell you the tactic that I might go for. I'll show you, go through the tactic, but yeah, good first touch, great long shots, leadership and determination is brilliant. So I might make him my captain and make John White just the um uh, uh, vice captain. Uh, uh. Just got like foam these things that like like strangling my neck. <laughs> Gary Deegan, of course, he is our the guy with an absolutely massive beard. He also wears his shorts really strangely in a football match. But yeah, he's good, good tackling, good strength, good stamina. That's probably the best part about him. See, the problem is, though, with this team, it's going to be quite a challenge. Not only do they have, um, like, a weak, weak um, transfer budget, but their team is so associated with League 2, because Southend have been in there for, what, past three, four seasons now. Been in there a while, and we've just come back up, so we've got the really... 
dissociated to League One players. What's up with Will Atkinson's face? But yeah, with Will Atkinson, I'll probably push him on because he's not that good, to be honest, in my books. He's not He's not the quality we need in this team. Anthony Wordsworth, the new signer at Southend. He is a brilliant player. He's also playing the winger. What am I playing there, then? That's bad. He prefers left in a natural three. Winger, because I'm... Okay, all right, so... He's, of course, a good player. Decent play, decent player for most Cybet Championship sides. He came from Ipswich, if I'm correct. Oh, he was at Colchester all his life. Oh, and then he moved to Ipswich for three seasons. Stayed there, then went to Rotherham, then to Crawley, then South End this season. Um, David Wall, um, of course. Probably a great, great player. Uh, um, South End. Um, he's he's got some quite actually decent stats for the ability he has. Eleven long shots, eleven finish, first touch, eleven finishing, crossing's eleven, dribbling could be a bit better. Natural fitness is good. Stamina and pace could be is all right. Would prefer his stamina to be better. And his work rate is fantastic. Stephen McLaughlin, right? He was very integral to helping us get to the playoffs last year and um yeah pretty good player very good player lovely crossing and dribbling and good pace and natural fitness so i'll definitely be trying to play him as much as i can kevin hurst not so much used nowadays but he still is used 29 years old 12 decent stats he can play all over the park really P prefer to like try and use him on the left and right He's good. He's natural as a winger on the right, but um, he's a wide player. I think, to be honest, he's probably a right, right mid to me. I reckon he's a right, right mid more to me. So, yeah, I might play him as like a backup to David Worrell. Or I might play him, I don't know. Miles Weston. I wonder if the stats for his pace show. Yep, yeah, 16 pace. Unbelievable pace he has. He's he's a left mid, but can play up front. I want to try him, like maybe train him there. So maybe if we go into training and sort that out now. Striker, um, what would I play as? Well, I don't know. Actually, I'll do that after I've made my tactic, and then um. Oh, whoops! Didn't mean to do that. Right, um, Jack Payne. He's the the small the small the small lad. Um, if it would like to have it up and load, the frame rates are dropping. Why? It's so good. Well, here we go. Um, yeah, he's all right. Definitely would probably prefer to play him as a shadow striker up front. But then he's quite good as a central mid. But I don't know what to do with the tactic at the moment. I'll probably address that in the in the next episode maybe, or I'll do it now. Depends on the time. But yeah, as an attacking midfielder, he's quite good. But as a centre mid, if it um, let me have a look. As a centre midfield, he has two stars. So yeah, he's two stars for everything. He's he's definitely someone I'm going to try and play sometimes. But I won't like play him all the time. But yeah, now onto the two strikers. No Hunt, an unbelievable player. He's been great since we signed him up. Started in Ireland, moved all the way to Scotland, then went to Reading. Yeah, I remember that. Cause he, um, in the that league, I think it was that season. No, it must have been. He, he was it him? Oh no, it was his brother Stephen. Um, I think it was his brother. Yeah, he did that thing. He um, he injured um Peter Check and made him have that uh brain damage. But it's not Noel Hunt. It's um his brother. David Mooney, uh, brand new striker coming in from um Lake Norwin. He scored some good goals in that one, in that league, yeah, that that season. But he was alright in last season. But I'm hoping this season he can bang it in, bang the goals in for us. And to finish it off, our last striker, Joe Piggott, who's only on loan. See, he's an annoying one. He's got good heading. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe I was wrong. He was jumping beach is good. I saw that, so I thought he must be good heading. No, only nine heading. Ugh. 
see the problem that's the, this is the big problem with this i don't know whether i want to play him or not that's the thing like i might just re like terminate his loan but he has potential to be a sky but he has potential in a way so i'll try and play him as much as i can but yeah there's the squad so um move on to the next day and um oh well yeah i didn't mean to do that uh so i guess we could play that game can't we Oh, the contracts, here we go. Trigger extension for him. We'll trigger them, them extensions and then we'll offer contracts to all these players. Ugh. I hate this part. I'll do that another day, actually. Just don't matter about this. I'll do them when the... the, the um, Videos finish. Let's look through these. So, Cole Kapaka, Paikwa, Wa, Kapakawa. I have no idea. And then we have Swansea's Raheem Handley, who's actually very good. So, I'm definitely going to add him to my shortlist. Try and get him on loan, maybe. Um, Oliver Burke, he's the right midfielder. He's actually got some. He looks alright at the moment. Oh, right. I'm just auto select, I think, for this. It's got pretty much everyone in it, yeah. Oh, for speed. Chris Speed. He's got AK okay, quite good first touch, quite good teamwork, but finishing's a bit dodgy. I guess we could get a scout report on him, maybe. Scout the player, and right. Let's go through this press conference quickly. Do you feel that your ambitions will cover matched by the chairman? Yeah, I do. Yes, our discussions are often creative, and there are lots of good ideas. But yeah, we'll go with that one. Okay. Mm. Yeah, plenty of examples of your managers having success in the game. I believe I could be one of them. Um, no, I won't talk about that. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. The first piece of business, though, I'm probably going to do. Oh, didn't mean to click that. I want to... What's the type it in? Because uh, I'm just... I'm recording, like, halfway through the season. Um, they've just signed up Tyrone Barnett as a striker. 29 years old. And I'm probably going to try and... Scout him and try and get him in because, like, look at them stats brilliant. But okay, yeah, what else have we got in here? John, um, let's have a look. We'll go through, we'll go through the let's go for three at three agents. So, who do we have? If we go to record, let's see what comes up. Whoa, lots of people. George Green, he was the old uh, Everton lad, wasn't he? Yeah. I remember, I remember him. He went to Tramie on loan and then went to Oldham and got released. The sheep, no, wait, no, wait, what? That makes no sense, okay. But yeah, we'll get, we'll definitely try and get all these players in. Because these could be quite good players. Gedeon Akito. Don't know who rings a bell. It was on Truro last year. Pretty average. Josh Pritchard. He's um what is he? He's a defensive midfielder. And also a midfielder. I think I might sign him up. Oh he's Oh, wage demands a bit high. Get rid of that. Mm. 
move that and exclude. And we'll raise these up. Just so. Come on. Okay, right. These weight demands are so high. I might. What I'll try and do is just rely on free agent signings. Oh, yes. So if we just um just get all this no not that way this way so that we barely get anything out of that oh my god this is quite annoying some of these frames all over the place but it's just pretty annoying that I can't sort any of this out oh uh, let's go back into scouting. And um, we'll look through Stefan Malatic. So centre back put This is what I don't get about like these like some of these players, like they they could be like a goalkeeper or something, like or centre back but can play striker. It's so confusing. Good wage uh, okay wage demands I guess. He's interested in joining him, but he only, he plays as limited. Danny Coons. He's okay, but he's quite selfish. I play both wings, but attacking mid wings, not really wide midfielders. You know what? What we'll do? We'll leave it there, guys. And um, I hope you enjoyed this this episode. And um, I will see you next time, and probably next time what will happen is I will just continue through the pre-season, go to the start of the se the, the new season, start of the season, and um, what and show you all the transfers and everything. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, guys. Um, yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and um, I'll see you next time. Josh out.